Let's run through a simple Hello World sample using Windows Virtual Shields for Arduino. In this example, you'll learn how to control the screen of any Windows 10 device from your Arduino using the Windows Virtual Shields for Arduino library. If you don't know about Windows Virtual Shields for Arduino, check out the link to learn more. This page will teach you how to prepare your Arduino and your Windows 10 companion device for this sample. With your hardware set up, let's move on to the code. In your Arduino IDE, you first include the Virtual Shields library and any sensors or capabilities you want to control. You then define a shield to represent your Windows 10 device. Next, you define the sensor or capability you wish to control, in this case, the screen. And finally, you initiate the shield, clear the screen, and print your message. We're ready to run code on the Arduino, but we need to prepare our Windows 10 companion device as well. We're going to run our sample on a Windows 10 Lumia phone. Run the Windows Virtual Shield for Arduino application on your prepared device and connect to your Arduino over Bluetooth, network, or USB. When we deploy code to the Arduino, the screen of the companion device will clear and read Hello World. Let's see it all in action. Here you see the code we discussed in detail, which I've loaded onto this Arduino Uno. The Arduino is speaking via Bluetooth and Windows Virtual Shields to this Windows phone. I use the companion app to connect to the Bluetooth on the Arduino. And when I've successfully connected, I refresh my app, and I see that the screen has properly loaded the words Hello World. This is just a small example of what Windows Virtual Shields for Arduino is capable of. Learn more about the technology in Windows 10 IoT Core at windowsondevices.com.